All right. Uh, yeah. Whoa, it's Teddy. Well. Yeah. Vlad. Yeah. So they do this interesting thing in this game. Um. Where have you ever heard of uh the the creepy Watson from Sherlock Holmes? What? Uh, I don't remember exactly which studio it was that was making it, but uh, there's a studio that makes um. There's a studio that makes uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes games, or used to. I don't know if they still do. Mm -hmm. But oh, oh, the, oh, the Watson that kept popping up yeah. out of nowhere behind you. Um, okay. But they I either that. didn't have the budget or the know-how or the time or whatever to program Watson to do anything, uh, like walking. He simply couldn't. Uh, so what they did instead was they made it so he would just pop up. Uh, when necessary. I'm just trying to figure out if any of these are like dead-end rooms with just a little bit to interact with. Whoa, uh, what this is this? This seems dead-end enough. I don't know. It's no, probably... it's like a control room. Yeah, hey, it's... look at the post-it notes. Uh, let's see. Paul's Pools and Pest Removal. Huh. huh. The flyer for Paul's Pools and Pest Removal advertises big savings for orders within a 20-mile radius of the shop. Along with a free extermination of one, one pest. The cheapest pool in the flyer has been circled several times in red pen. Hmm. Bob, I noticed this flyer and assumed this was your work. So I will remind you, pools are not safe to hold chemical waste. Why did you order one, stupid, cordially Ted? He likes to do those oh. punctuated one sentence. Yep. Yep, he does. Bob, you buffoon! Why is there a lobby here and what happened to the decontamination room? Gorgeous. Hiya, Ted! Ugh. Pretty sure I told you. Did a little rework here. Think this will be a real high traffic spot for the tour. Gonna be a real moneymaker, Bob. Words fail me, idiot. Cordially, Ted. And stop it with the statues! Cordially, Ted. He always so, has to end things cordially. I mean, it seems like both of them are pretty dumb. And this one is just double him as opposed to having the co-founder. Wait, is that a... It's... okay. A coffee machine? Yeah, it's a coffee machine. You took this not because you want to make coffee, but that... Uh, but that you heard that coffee machines grant you one wish. After much thought, you... Wished for coffee. It didn't come true. <laughs> what? Why would you wish for coffee? For I me? don't know. Uh, I've been talking to some other people here, and uh, what's they, this one? They've all had one second. They've all had uh, theories that we are one of the corn people. It seems almost likely, and nah, I think we did mention it. I don't. I don't think it is though, because yeah, it doesn't quite make sense. Because the lady was talking about you being a potential savior or something. I don't know what kind of guy you are, oh. but why don't you look at the brochure you picked up? Okay, lobbies, 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 lobbies. for you. A brochure for a company whose main goal is to fulfill all of your low to mid-level lobby needs. On the back, one design in particular is circled in red pen, the cheapest one. The company's tagline reads, waiting never felt so good. Okay, so we just kept getting the cheap lobbies. Bob, I've made this map so our staff can restart the bargain. Basement reactor, you're, you order without blowing us all to kingdom come. Do me a favor and don't come anywhere near it, moron. Cordially, Ted. Ted! Ted! I solved your maze! Took me a little while, but I got it in the end. Bob! How are you the stupid? Did you get your doctorate out of a cereal box? Cordially, Ted. Okay. A book of nuclear reactor maintenance guidelines. This is quite possibly the worst written book of guidelines in the history of time. None of the guidelines make any sense and the instructional drawings all consist of stick per a stick person running away from a very large fire. Okay, okay what so was the, uh, there's a lever there. I don't want to flick it yet because it says nuclear explosion in 120. Let's do the everything else first. Hi, doors. I I figure... Wait, we have 120 seconds? No, well, it doesn't look like it's ticking down yet. And if we come back and it's ticked down, then we panic. Uh, but I'm hoping that by not flipping the, that lever, nothing happens. 
But then nothing might happen. We don't know yet. It's too dark in here. I can't see a thing. Perhaps if we turned around. Oh, don't be ridiculous. This is a perfectly nice place to stand. Well, I can't argue with that logic. Neither can I. They're just gonna stand there. Yeah. You try what? Okay. Door to hook room four. Okay, so this doesn't seem to be anything. I think there's a bunch of pipes that you can manipulate at the bottom. Where? Here? Or what's that lever? Or There's this, but I can't do anything. There's this, but I can't do anything. None of them are lit, lit up. Like, you can tell the moment I get close. Okay. It lights up pretty well. Okay, uh, let's see. So, there was one more room area to go through, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, so that's to the reactor. That's the door we came in on. Okay, here. We had we had some stairs to work with. Really? I thought that we had come downstairs to get here. If we did, then we go the other direction. I'm not sure which is which. Hey, it's a rainbow. Mm -hmm. I don't remember coming through these. What is that? Yeah, this is new. What did that say back there? Uh, this? Submarine access. What? A submarine? Yep. Okay. Wait, you just <laughs> took a whole pallet? You decided to pick this up because you liked the direction of the grain of wood. And that it gives you splinters while holding it from every conceivable angle. Stupid American garbage. Okay, so what was the other item? Let's see. An instruction manual for building your very own two-man submarine. Since Bob and Ted opted for the budget model, the manual is 800 pages long and mapped out in a fashion that is similar to a choose-your-own-adventure novel. That's worrying. Now, can you go see if there's a key that you can use on that box or the clothespin or the nail or anything? Uh, well, there's, oh, there's a, a key. key. Let's go try that. Yeah, I don't I don't have any uh I don't have anything to interact with yet right now. So we got a box cutter and a hammer. Hammer. For some reason you feel the urge to break something beautiful with this. Instead of doing the standard task of hammering a nail, you don't know why you think these things. <laughs> box cutter. The cheapest box cutter commercially available. This brand holds the distinction of being the only one that is rendered completely useless after one swipe. <laughs> okay, let's look at the post-its. Hiya, Ted! Just FYI, I brought the acetylene gas tank up from the up to the farm for the annual staff barbecue. Completely corn-free, of course. Ha <laughs> ha! Bob. Bob! How many times have I told you that we can't have barbecues on the farm? Put it back. We're days behind schedule. And stop joyriding with the tractor, dummy. Cordially, Ted. Okay, so we've got to find something nice to break here. Oh, hello. And there's some other scrawling. Why? Something was approved. By Bob. Created by Pete's Games and Carnival, the design of the loading crane appears to be based off of a simple claw game. A fact which excited Bob to no end. Ted, conversely, wasn't too thrilled about it, but was stuck with, with it anyway after Bob forged his signature on the approval form. Uh, <laughs> so Bob is just unilaterally making decisions hey, for the company. Oh, it's just more mustard stains. Yep. Hey, Ted! I upgraded the lifting system so two people could use it at once. Our efficiency will nearly double. Bob, I know that I do not say this lightly, but this may well be the absolute worst idea you've ever had. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. Yeah, there it is. Oh, the claw thing? Well... Yeah, there's the claw and the maze. Yeah. What? Oh, hey. A cello case. Uh, let's look at the note. Bob, for the last time, stop leaving your junk everywhere. I don't know why you even have a cello case. You don't even own a cello, dummy. Cordially, Ted. Don't let 
look like there's anything behind. Okay. Well, there's a box. You can use the box cutter on. Hey, you, Ted. Need this box of knickknacks loaded. Be a pal and move it for me, would you? Bob. Bob, you sloth. I'm not your errand boy. Load it yourself. Cordially, Ted. Why well, you pick up so much garbage, idiot? Vladdy does not understand. Faberge eggs. Well, that's Faberge what goes on. Faberge eggs, Fabre yeah. Yeah, that's what goes on the uh, table. Don't know what happens when you put it there, though. Oh, wait. Oh, you just smash oh, it. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to I was supposed to read the distract description. Oh, well. Anyway, we smash it for some reason, and now we have the priceless lockpick. Easily the most expensive lockpick in the world. But you don't really care, because you have no idea how modern economics work. Well, it's probably because it's made out of gold. Yes. All right, let's get this cello case open. Oh. What is that? Vladdy won't say this, but he probably could crawl through that vent and unlock the door. Nuclear fuel rod. For reasons unknown only to you, you are holding a very radioactive fuel rod in your hands, ignoring every known safety procedure for proper containment and storage imaginable. Okay, so what's the vent that Teddy can crawl this through? This is probably back in the... Oh, hi. Yeah, put... Can you put that in that? No. Oh. If it's in the folio, it's useless. This magic water pipe grants you the power to transport water from one end of it to the other. There will be no reason for you to do this at any point in this adventure, but you will continue to carry it anyway, just in case. Alright, uh... Oh, yeah. In there? Oh, boots -a boy Stupid idiot, making Vladdy crawl through dumb thing. What is Vladdy supposed to do in here? Stupid! Ah! Ah! Stupid wires everywhere! Why is this stupid? Oh! Ah! Ah! Why is this stupid thing upside down? Makes no sense! How stupid are these idiots? Maybe if Vladdy gets... Oh! Ah! Vladdy has to... Oh! Ah! Yes! Do um... this dumb... Ah! Ah! Boy, grace so many... Hey, idiot! Did that work? Stop being stupid and say something! Fine. Vladdy done anyway. Twin moy Lushi drugs. Stupid idiot. Could get nowhere without Vladdy. Vladdy has to do everything. So, now what? Vladdy did not like any part of that experience. Also, new path is open to you. Probably somewhere radioactive. Okay. Well, I think we're done with this area. Okay, what are those post-it notes? Hiya, Ted! Since this is a highly sensitive area, I added a new security door. No need to thank me. Can't be too careful, Bob. Bob, you do realize that your new security door closes for no reason and locks people inside this very secure area. Stop being cheap and get a door that works, moron. Cordially, Ted. But that's the door that we came in then. Yeah, so it locked behind us and we didn't notice because we were too distracted doing other things. So I've been carrying this uh, radioactive tube for quite some time now. We're going to have crazy hand cancer by the time we're done with this. Mm. Watch us be like something completely, like, not human, like a deer. Uh. That'd be great. We're just doing this entire game as like just a random deer or... A deer doesn't have hands. Yes, yeah, it doesn't. Look, I'm not saying this needs logic. This is already a dumb game. I just want to. Sh I want. I want the game to end and have like just a character that that doesn't really doesn't belong. Anyway, I can't restart the nuclear reactor. Good That's probably know. because you need to put that in there or something. Ah, here we go. Try not to be an idiot in there. It would be very bad. Let me stay here in case you do something stupid. Stupid. Commemorative reactor. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you just have to run as fast as possible. Well, it's a maze. Too bad we didn't study the maze. It's okay. I have training in mazes. Nope. Look. 
you need to take that other turn. I don't even know if I need to take any of these turns. We might be going the wrong way completely. Or we might be okay going this direction. I don't know. I think we're okay. It's good music, though. I, I dig it. Sounds very 80s. Ish. Yeah. It would be... Or it sounds like something that could be made into an anime music video. Yeah. <laughs> that is definitely the case. But I've been practicing with mazes lately, specifically. There we go. Completely horribly unsafe fuel rod installation procedure. Oh. We did it about half the time. Well, I guess we're done with that. I really would like to see what the character looks like in this game. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now try to shoot. Restarted the worst nuclear nuclear reactor in the world. Uh, we should have a new path open to us somewhere. Let's see what's to say. Facility power status. Okay. Well, it means you might be able to open more of the doors. Yeah, my bet is. Well, also, I, didn't Ruby need you to put on the reactor or something? Yeah, did she you? did. I was... That was like a couple days ago. I've forgotten by now. So we. I'm just wondering if we're going to run into the monster corn. Probably at some point. I'd oh, see. hey, can you touch the wall now that they're out of the way? Well, there's nothing over here. No, just a pizza box? Mm-hmm. What is this stupid thing? Ooh, it's pretty. Oh, hey. Again with the crawling? Stanya Veselo. Oh, what is Vlade doing here? Is this Vlade's purpose? Crawling <clears throat> and climbing through stupid <clears throat> junk to get <clears throat> more stupid junk? <clears throat> And for what? This stupid garbage? This is useless! No use! No purpose! Just more garbage! Garbage for idiots! Always... Garbage. Hope this garbage worth Vladi suffering. But I already know the answer. No, because it's garbage. <sighs> what stupid thing is next? Okay, so you have a control panel of some sort. Hook control module. Oh, I see. This For is the submarine. Yep. Due to a communication error, this particular control console is designed to be removable from its base. It lost approximately six. It was lost approximately sixty times during the facility's existence. <laughs> okay. Well, let's take a peek. Or that's where it goes. I'm a wizard. We oh. released one of the rings. So yeah, we'd seen one of these earlier. This is what stupid thing does. Vladdy still think it garbage. The thing you did was important, probably. Okay. Another rock. Which? What name is it? Well, what is it called? Existentially unstable rock. This rock has no idea whether it is a rock, or a facility of a rock, an algamation of many rocks, or a non-rock. By picking it up, you have undone all of its conclusions about the world up until this point. You have named it Wallace. <laughs> I wonder if the rocks will do anything. I don't know. Anyway, let's pick Bloody this up. think you may have problem, idiot. You take too much garbage. <laughs> door wheel. Broke off its door, thanks to a shoddy soldering job done immediately after the facility Christmas party. You could probably find another door to fit it on, uh, onto, just not this one. It's okay, we are not coming back. <laughs> you okay. seem to be looking at your phone often. I uh, emails. I realized I hadn't checked them this morning. And so it's always one of those where I have to make sure that uh, I haven't received any like new amazing games that I need to uh, plan ahead for today. Because mm -hmm. some days I will look down and it's just like, would you like a copy of The Dwarves? And I'm like, yes. 
Or would you like a copy of Maze? Yes. It's a good feeling when I look down and I get a, a new good game. And what's this room? What does it say? It's, it's, it's the same thing. Oh. Huh. Uh. Bob? How is a one-way pneumatic tube at all useful? What part of order elevators did you not understand? This stupid thing is an expensive, completely useless death trap, twit. Cordially, Ted. It looks like a Dalek. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, you mean a uh, Dalek? Yeah. Oh, you need a stool. A footstool to bring the ladder down. Uh, it's probably in the pneumatic tube. We have to, we just have to hit the hook machine switch first. That does not sound good. Ouch. Titania Vesilo. Why is this place so stupid? Nothing works. Idiot American machines. Uh-oh, a gear broke. Well done, idiot. Breaking it will help. Stupid. You should take that dumb PC if you can fix it. Breaking everything won't help you progress, in case that wasn't, in case that wasn't clear. Alright, oh. Uh... Head back to the communal grotto and down to level two. Okay. Oh. Broken gear half. You need to figure out a way to repair this broken gear if you want to raise that giant hook in the sky. The fact that you know nothing about engineering, mechanical repairs, or finding things means that this will probably go very smoothly. Okay, so the pneumatic tube's probably going to bring us back up. So the grotto. Communal grotto? Actually, I don't a know. A communal oh. grotto. Well, this oh. makes it easier. Whoa, did the door have. Weird. Yeah, well, the. The boxes are here to, like, lead us in. Yep. In different directions. I'm kind of okay with it, though. It streams, streamlines the process really artificially, but, like, whatever. Shh, be careful. Let's see. This is the security room. Yeah, proceed on to level two. So there might be an upstairs. Then we can go up to somewhere along the way here. That's the main entrance. Yeah. Was there? I don't remember. Know about that. I'm just gonna double check over everything. This motion blur is going to make me sick. I had the worst headache for the rest of the day. Mm-hmm. Let me stay here while you do your stupid things, idiot. I don't know if this is the right way to go. It just seems... Well, if there's a way up, then perhaps it would be. Yeah. I was thinking we'd uh, we'd go see if uh, Ruby Ru had something else for us to do. Maybe. She probably just wants you to turn on the rings and she'll insult you for having not done so. Uh, Maybe. I just know that this isn't specifically blocked off. And I also don't remember anything that was powered or not. So there's that too. So yes, I could be wasting my time here, but... Mm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, I do miss having that sprint button though. Let's see, the yellow lines always lead me to... To the rooms where that guy was poking around? Yeah, I'm curious to see if he'd have anything else. Anyway, well, let's see if she's around. She doesn't even seem to be in bed, though there is something on her desk. Yep, okay, so we're not supposed to be here. We're supposed to be elsewhere. Level two. I think it would be the elevator? If you want to look. Yeah, let's look just in case. I mean, it's better than having to detour back. Nope. I can only assume that one of these rooms, I mean, you haven't been to them before. Yeah. They're below It's too bad you just couldn't us. open up the uh, grating for yeah, it. Yeah, kick it open. Yeah. 
I do actually hope they um, they explain who the the uh, player is to some degree here. Mm -hmm. They probably won't reveal it until the end. Yeah, probably. Uh, it's probably not worth the effort, but I'll do it anyway. Cover all my bases. Yeah, so Just another hall. I get the feeling we're supposed to go to wherever these rooms are. Maybe, uh, since Ruby's not there anymore, maybe that's, like, uh, we get to there and we can open up that door now. Mm-hmm. Uh, seeing as there's stuff to interact with, it, it means that we have to physically be in that location at some point. We just have to figure out when and how and whatever. Okay. Ah, idiot. So you are done being stupid up there. Uh -oh. Good. What? There we go. Let me stay here while you ah, idiot. So you are done being stupid. You oh, I see. You couldn't leave. See to cr see to go. crouch. Okay, good. I was I was worried that we were going to be stuck crouching forever. Uh, that's happened to me once in a game where I was just permanently this stuck crouching. Not good. Too many toys. Children should play with rocks. It'll help them understand life. <laughs> Wait. Children should play with rocks. Honestly, that's actually probably one of uh, my favorite lines from him. Let's see. Do you try taking the elevator down? Or back up to the surface, but there's nothing else up there. Also, third doesn't yeah, seem to be way out. Yeah, door does not seem to open. Okay. Oh. Maybe this door? Nope, it's nope. not open yet. Okay. Oh yeah, there's the upstairs. Oh, from the communal here. grotto. It's garbage it is a grotto. That's uh, true. We were told to return here, so. Go upstairs. This wasn't here. Oh, it's one of the extra doors. Yeah. So this is this is where we're supposed to go. Unfortunately. Be careful. It is time Gladdy told you where he is from. Lady is from small box, very dark, that stupid idiot brought him out the box, and it was sad. Now, we are here. Bob McTavish, honorary lobby. Another honorary lobby, okay. Bob, you stupid dummy! Why you commissioned that artist to make these maps is beyond me. They're unreadable. Everyone is getting lost down here. Cordially, Ted. <laughs> Abstract. Wow, that's a map. Okay, do we have anything else? We do. Book. Oh, Night, Night Danger, Danger 2. 2. Danger. A McMurphy mystery. After an unexpected hit, the maligned author was forced to write a sequel. This time, he saved everyone the trouble of reading the book altogether and revealed the killer on the back flap. The novel actually chronicles the detective struggle to return a pair of defective pants. So the first one was about him buying pants. The second one was about returning the defective pants. That's great. Bob, I don't care how good a deal you got. No more lobbies. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. Okay. Oh, hey. Meeting room. The meeting room. Oh, we saw this before. Yes, yeah. He scribbled something out. Oh, stupid. Stupid man is, with an arrow through his hat. Is that us? I think that's supposed to be us. A stupid. There's a lot of cups and stuff in here. Okay. Ooh, what's what do this? we have? Markers? Outline for facility, theme park, and casino. A oh. very slick looking proposal to rework the facility into a high end theme park and casino resort. Has lots of pleasing looking graphs pointing upwards. So you know for sure it's a good idea. Some notable attractions include Vatland, Genetics Kingdom, and Kitchen. My god, Bob! What is this? There is no way in any conceivable universe that we can turn this facility into a resort. Stop it, you dummy. Cordially, Ted. Oh. Marker. You mistakenly thought this was a blue marker, but you don't want to put it back down lest you hurt its feelings. Instead, you will draw a face on something with it because you know it likes to do that. You'll probably draw it on the statue or something. Yeah, maybe. Doesn't look like there's anything else in this room. Oh, nope, there is. A, a whole water cooler? You were mistakenly trying to pick up something else, but now you're in possession of an entire water cooler. You're too stubborn to put it down, so you're going to find a use for it. 
carrying it everywhere you go. You didn't even empty out the water. Uh, okay. Yep. We are some, like, freak Hulk type character. I love it. Not yet. Huh. Okay, the water cooler with a, a box <laughs> well, and what goes on top? Some kind of plant that we draw a face on. Or multiple things. Oh, so or it opens it. the camera. Uh, yeah. Oh. The living quarters. I just like it that we can put it down despite the fact that it's not on top of anything. Facial record. Okay. Hi, Ted. Since you're so worried about security, I did you a favor and beefed up the doors to your room. You're absolutely welcome, Bob. Bob, you jerk. I can't even get into my room because of these stupid discount security measures. Fix it. I'm sick of sleeping in the grotto. Cordially, Ted. 